Good morning, this is Lisa from Mythical Witchery. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a comparison of the Jack-O-Lantern Tarot and the Halloween Tarot. The Jack-O-Lantern Tarot is 78 cards. It's published by Low Scarabeo. And it comes in a little tuck box. Inside, we've got a small little white book that's in several languages, four languages. This is typical with a low Scarabeo deck. So English, Italian, Spanish, and Portuguese with a small write-up on each of the cards. The Halloween Tarot is published by US Games. It comes in this larger box. It has a guidebook here and the deck here. I'll just slide that out. Slide out the guidebook. It also comes with this poster. Quite a good size poster, as you can see, and shows a typical Celtic cross layout. The guidebook. has 133 pages with a black and white photo of the card and a relatively good write-up. And of course, it's in a tuck box. Hello, Jelly Bean. <laughs> you coming to visit? Now, this is, is quite an old deck. I believe it's was published about 25 or 26 years ago. I bought this when it first came out. Um, I had to leave my copy behind in Canada when I moved to the UK. So I was finally able to get a replacement. It was a little bit difficult to find, but I was glad that I did because this was one of my favorite decks. And again, we've got the tuck box and the cards inside. And it also has a little white book. Hello, I'm back again. Now, as far as the card sizes, you gonna let mommy? Hey. Sorry about that. He was insisting on a cuddle. <laughs> so, as far as sizes go. You can see that the Halloween Tarot is a little bit thicker than the Jack-O-Lantern Tarot. The Halloween Tarot is slightly taller and slightly wider. And then comparing this to a standard Ride Away at Smith, the Halloween Tarot is standard and the jack-o-lantern is just a little bit smaller than standard. So for precise measurements, the Halloween Tarot measures two and three quarter inches by four and three quarter or 70 millimeters by 120. Hello again. And the jack-o-lantern measures 
just over two and a half inches. by just a little under four and three quarter. Or 64 millimeters. By about 117 millimeters. So both of them have a card on the top to introduce. The Halloween Tarot comes with a little write-up. So for cardstock, the Halloween Tarot is a pretty standard cardstock. It's got good bounce. I would say it's a semi-gloss. Those are the backs. The jack-o'-lantern is a little bit thinner. Again, a semi-gloss. And those are the backs. So starting with the Fool, Halloween Tarot is on this side, and the Jack Lantern Tarot is on this side. And the Magician. The High Priestess. The Empress. The Emperor. The Hierophant. Lovers of oh, this Dracula, the chariot, strength. Look at this face on the cloud here. The Hermit, the Wheel, or the Wheel of Fortune, Justice. Move those a little closer, you can continue to see the backs. Temperance. The Devil. The Bean is over there crying. The 
power. There's so much happening in both of these cards. I love these ghosts. The star. She has very pointy bits. The moon. I love how we've got the skeletons here representing the dog and the wolf. The sun. Judgment. And the world. And moving into the minor arcana, starting with the wands or the imps in the Halloween tarot. The two. The three. Four. Five. Six. Eight. This doesn't really give a sense of speed, does it? But it is cute. <laughs> page the night the queen and the King of Wands or Imps. I'm just going to move these to the side now so the camera doesn't get confused about what to focus on. And moving into the cups or the ghosts. Ghosts in the Halloween Tarot. And we've got the two. And the three. No, you don't. You can't get in the way. He says, yes, I can. <laughs> the four. It's very irritated with me when I tell him no. <laughs> the five, because I should know better. And 
the six. The seven. The eight. The nine. Ten. Page. The night. The queen. And the king. And moving into the swords were the bats in the Halloween tarot. Three, four, five, the six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Both very similar cards, aren't they? Page. The night. The queen. And the king. Moving into the pentacles or the pumpkins in the Halloween tarot. And the two. The three. Four. Five. The six. Hello again, Jelly Bean. Hello. Getting right in the way. And the seven. Don't stand on my cards, dude. <laughs> yeah, you can sit in front of them. That's okay. Don't rub that. Oh, he's very annoyed with me now. Mommy, don't. He says, don't keep telling me what I can't do. <laughs> All right, so we're on the seven. 
the eight. Are you trying to help? Right? <laughs> we can't see, honey. We can't see. Here. No, that's definitely not going to work, honey. You can't do that. Oh, the nine. The ten. The page. and the king now I'm going to give these a shuffle so starting with the Halloween tarot shuffle quite well. If it looks just slightly stiff. They're a little bit slippery. Whoops, I've got some turned around in here. So yeah, just a little bit slippery, but not bad. They'd be totally fine for those who like to riffle shuffle. And now the jack-o'-lantern. And they're not as stiff. They've got good bounce to them. to be quite as slippery. All right, so my final thoughts on this. I find the Halloween tarot to be a lot more fun. It's very traditional Halloween images. They're images that I think we can all kind of relate to images that we've seen in, since our childhood in various shows. So definitely a lot of fun. This is being an older deck. It's a little bit more difficult to find, but not impossible. As far as price goes, it's very difficult for me to give you a price because it really depends on the seller. The jack-o'-lantern tarot. The images are, you know, they've got a, a little bit of a cartoony style to them, but they feel a lot more serious to me. They're almost... I don't know what art style you would call it, but they remind me of paintings of old masters. It's definitely not... I mean, it's got elements of Halloween-type things, you know, with obviously the pumpkins and witches and bats and that kind of thing, but it doesn't feel quite as Halloween-y to me as the Halloween tarot does. Because this was printed in, I believe, 2020, it's going to be a little bit easier to find price point. 
sort of between the 15 to 20 pound, 20 US dollar mark, give or take. What do you think of these decks? Do you have either one of these in your collection? Have you been thinking about buying one of these? If so, did my flip through help you at all? <laughs> I hope it did. Let me know what you think of these decks in the comments down below. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions as always. Thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful at all, please give it a like. That would be lovely. If you don't subscribe yet, please hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you again for watching today. I'll be doing another flip through comparing these to the Trick or Treat Tarot, each one of them. So this will be a series of three videos and they'll all be linked. Have a lovely day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.